Hey, welcome back to the Ocarina of Time walkthrough series. I'm Loud Boy, and this one is really cool. This is the Bigger and Sword trading quest. This one is really cool because we get something so tangible, so real, and so effective for the rest of our journey. And that's the Bigger and Sword. It's a lot stronger than the Master Sword. It's just a, a, a killer reward. And But first, we have to go all over Hyrule and trade a bunch of weird, wacky items and some of these these uh, runs between different parts of Hyrule are timed. and uh, But at the end of it, though, we get the coolest sword in the game, in my my opinion. Of course, yes, we use the Master Sword to defeat Ganon at the very end. But this bigger in sword, though, is is the Mac Daddy. The sucker's awesome. So anyway, that's what we're doing today, the bigger in sword trading quest. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, of course, Fire Temple's out. The Ice Cavern is out, where we got the Iron Boots and the Zora Tunic. And then after this one, we're going to go to the Water Temple. And one final note, I have a new video out, which is called The Story So Far, Ocarina of Time. And this video is a highlight reel of all the best parts. Dungeon bosses, weapons, the dungeons, the songs, and all the sweet moments in between. Uh, and taking out the meat of it, but just doing all the sweet, awesome highlight parts of it. It's a really cool video. Guys, check that out. It's called The Story So Far, and you'll see it on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be awesome. This is Loud Boy. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Let's go get that sword. As you can see, we're in Kakarika Village. And the first thing we need to do is fun with chickens. Isn't it kind of strange how chickens play such a prominent part in this game? Kukos. All right, let's talk to this lady. I bred a new type of miniature Kuko. I call it the Pocket Kuko. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Kukos are very good at getting lazy late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow, cuckoo, especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo's not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling them. Here, take this egg. After it hatches, bring it back to me and I'll check it out and see, check its mood. What do you think? We have an egg. And we've begun our quest. So, that egg will not hatch until the next day. So let's make that happen. <laughs> Playing the sun song twice. Gets us just, just what we need. Look, a chicken hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. All right, subscreens. We now have a chicken. She wants to check its mood. What makes this chicken happy? Well, waking up lazy guys. You guys remember a lazy guy? Back with the princess episode? Yeah. By Hyrule Castle. He's still around. Oh, look at that. Hey, it's Mario. What in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? <laughs> Alright, so. We woke him up. I call him Mario because, yeah, I think that's their nod to Mario. He looks a lot like him. And, of course, the guy running uh, Lon Lon Ranch right now looks kind of like Luigi. Or maybe Waluigi. Six and one, right? All right, let's talk to her. We present our Kuko. Oh, your Kuko looks very happy. He must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. 
I'll give you the rare, valuable one, if you're interested. His name is Kajiro, and he used to be my brother's. Its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. Since my brother is gone, it's strange. He hasn't stopped crowing. Do you want to keep him? And there we go. A blue chicken. Nice. All right, so what do we have to do? Her brother, believe it or not, is all the way over in the Lost Woods. So we are headed there now. Let's get a Pono. That way we can blitz across Hyrule Field. There she is. All right, girl. And off we go. Turn her around. That way we can get on her quickly and head the right direction. So off to our, off to the forest where we grew up, which of course will lead straight to the Lost Woods where we need to go. Once we're in the Lost Woods, turn left. Look at this guy. He's not looking too good. Kajiro, why? Normally a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means you, you must be a nice guy. Must be. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy, nice guy please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in a potion shop. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. All right, next phase, the odd mushroom. This is the first of our timed sequences of this quest. If you recall, we planted a magic bean right here. If you time it just right, it'll take you right to here. Nice little shortcut out. Time is of the essence right now. Back on Epona. Come on, Epona. Here we go. And back to Kakariko Village. That's where the potion shop is. It's nighttime. However, this potion shop is not open at night, only during the day. So we're going to have to do something about that. Okay. Sun Song, once again. the village we go. So to get there, we come up here, obviously. Keep on going, one more flight. And then go in this store. Now, there's a little back way right here. This takes us out. And then up these stairs 
in, in this door. Okay, I gotta talk to her first. There we go. That bum. He had to go all the way to the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I've ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. So, we have the odd potion. We have to go back to the Lost Woods. So here we go. This quest is crazy. But it's cool. All right. Back out to Hyrule Field. Remember, we're going to the Lost Woods again. So, second verse, same as the first. Here we go. Epona is critical. Yeah, you'll be hard pressed. If not, it's impossible to uh, do the bigger and sword training quest without a Pona, just because the speed with which she can uh, transport us to the field, okay? If we were running, we'd still be running way back there. All right, let's turn her around, hop down. That's something I always do. I like to face her the way we're gonna go in a moment. That way I don't have to turn her around when I get there. Okay. Just like before, we have to go back to the exact same place. You know, in a lot of ways, yes, this is a trading quest to trade a bunch of things to get a very powerful, amazing sword. However, in a way, it's kind of like a, a midterm test, wherein we're tested on our knowledge of the area and of the people we've met along the way. And I know you kind of, you can liken it to that. This guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. That medicine is made from forest mushrooms. Give it back. So, in exchange, she gives us the Poacher's Saw. Okay. And as you can see now on our bottom yellow button, we have the Poacher's Saw. Now we're off to another part of the kingdom, which is Gerudo Valley to the west. And off we go. And as you can tell, obviously, this one is not timed. Not all of them are. I don't even try jumping over those fences. I just don't trust them. They, they can be a real pain in the butt sometimes.
Oh, I hate this bridge. With its invisible walls on the side. Such a pain in the butt. Alright, here we go. Jumping the bridge. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, that saw is mine. But I thought I left that saw with the old lady. Oh well. My bigger run tool broke, so I was gonna go to Goron City and get it repaired. You're coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Good kid, thanks. What does he give us? A broken sword. All right. We need to find someone to fix it for us, don't we? Remember what he just said. He just mentioned the, um, and by the way, right here, since we're here, um, behind that tent, is a gold skull Tala. Might as well grab it while we're here. There's also one right up here. On the face of this rock. that one. Cool. All right, now let's take our sword. We are off to the very top of Death Mountain. Jump the bridge. We're going to leave Grotto Valley. Get on this annoying piece of log that goes across here. There we go. Alright. across Hyrule Field. To get to the top of Death Mountain, we go to Death Mountain Trail. Luckily, we planted that magic bean in an earlier episode, which is of course available on my channel. And because of that, we now have one of those quick transport magic leaves that'll take us quickly up the face of Death Mountain. That's it. There we go. Our giant Goron, the master uh, sword repairman, he's way up here. Take care of these spiders first. 
before you attempt to climb this sucker. I wonder if I should have taken care of that other one. Possibly. Am I going to regret this? I'm going to regret this. Yep. Good thing this one wasn't timed. Live and learn. All right, here we go. We're going up. There he is. All right, he's telling about his brother. His brother has a shop in Goron City, and uh, he, he sells a giant knife there. It's something you can buy. I suggest go through this quest. The giant's knife is uh, breakable. This sword is not. So there's a big difference. So this is, this is worth the time. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zoro's domain. And you will find them if you see the King Zora. Please, go get the eye drops. Okay, he's given us a prescription. I guess he's also a doctor. <laughs> and ouch. Okay. That's the most expedient way down. I just always jump. Alright. So, you know where we're going. Zora's Fountain. Can we go see King Zora? And here we go. Back to the village. Of course, last time you know that we did the Ice Cavern. Before that, Fire Temple. Before that, Forest Temple. All of those are available, guys, on my channel. Loud Boy channel. And also... The, one of the latest videos it's an almost three hour compilation of uh, everything from the Digo tree through the spirit temple and it's quite cool every dungeon, every boss fight weapon and song are included it's called the story so far Ocarina of Time and uh, check that out if you want kind of a long play walk through however long play in that it gives you all the good stuff right all the sweet spots of the game i am shooting in arrows instead of, i'm talking um so anyway yeah the story so far check it out on my channel so let's go up to see king zora if you guys haven't yet it'd be awesome if you subscribed you know hit the bell for your notifications and share with a friend uh, join our little family here. That'd be really cool. All right, so let's ride this leaf. I appreciate all you guys who, who have subscribed. It means so much to me. Thank you. And I jumped off too quickly, didn't I? Good job. Wow. I get to talking and then um, I start messing things up. That's okay. We're still on track. So Zora's Fountain, as you know, or Zora's Domain, is up this way. This is our this quest to get the Big Run Sword 
is our last is our last pit stop, of course, before we do the water temple. And we're gonna be doing that next time. So right, playing Zelda's lullaby gives us access to Zora's domain. Go see the king. We have our prescription with us. He's telling us that his prince, his daughter, the princess Rudo, has gone on to the water temple. Alright, so, he doesn't have them, the eye drops, but he has the ingredients. That's good enough for us. Another errand. We're good at those at this point. Alright, so there it is, the eyeball frog. This, with this frog is how we make uh, the eye drops. Go figure. Gets a lot of medicinal value in eyeball frogs. So, here we go. We just need to bolt our way out of Zora's domain. And as quickly as that we can, we will jump into the river. And kind of run and or swim our way down Zora's river. Get out of here as quickly as possible. Because where we're going next is a place we've been before a couple times. And that place is the Lakeside Laboratory, way down in Lake Hylia. So here we go, here we go. Finally, we're swimming. So, you know, when we become a big link, adult link. We can actually run through much of that river. We're tall enough for it. So, oh, there's a Pona waiting for us. I'm glad we brought her. Well, we don't have to take the time to call her. So off we go. Of course, uh, as you probably know, Zora's, or Lake Hylia, is in the southernmost tip of the kingdom. So that's why we're headed right now. You can follow our yellow icon, the triangle on the screen, to see that's exactly where we're headed. Jumping the fences like we always do. Here we are, like Hylia. And there's the old man. Okay, so let's give him the frog. He's way too excited about this frog. Oh, wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Sora's domain froze over. These eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight, I will cook fried eyeballs. And for the first time in a long time, he's very excited. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. What? These are for making bigger ones eye drops. Oh, how disappointing. You should have said so in the first place. All right. So now he knows what he's supposed to do. 
from this frog. He's gonna give us life for some awesome eye drops. We have the medicine, has no preservatives in it. Therefore, this is another timed section of our quest. And there it is, the world's finest eye drops. We have four minutes this time. Four minutes to get from the very southern part, most part of the area, all the way to Death Mountain, and up basically most of Death Mountain. So, Epona and one of our leaves, they do the trick here. They are like, I have done it without the leaf. It's just, uh, it's really close, really tight. So off we go in a general direction of, uh, we can see Death Mountain straight ahead, in fact, on the horizon up there, just above the carrots. Now it'll be so crucial, of course, right? Remember that climb, the final climb before we get to the big Goron up there. Uh, yeah, snipe out those spiders. Uh, the time it takes to get hit by one and get knocked down and then end up having to shoot it anyway, uh, it might possibly cost you this like of the quest since it is timed. Here we are, Death Mountain Trail once more. We have two minutes left. Okay, on to our leaf. You see how that's critical? getting up here so quickly yeah you definitely want that Hard to boot, nice. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Right, let's talk to him. Really? You brought the eye drops. I'm so relieved. I'm gonna use them right now. This is stimulating. It's working great. Now I can get back to my blade business. All right, so he's gonna give us a With the, this is the claim check for the bigger sword. It does take him a couple days. So, playing the sun song. I'm not sure exactly how many times. At least three or four. Wait for that that cock to crow there. 
before you play that song again. And likewise, at least wait for that the howl. That means we're officially in the nighttime. Playing it again. So anyway, yeah, it takes them a couple days, right? So what we're doing is we're just cycling through time. Day to night, day to night. Kind of doing a slow form of time travel here. Of course, we all travel through time every day, right? You just wait a minute, wait 10 more minutes. You've traveled through time. After this one, I'm going to give it a check. No pun intended. We're going to see if the claim check's ready. Right, let's check. Oh, shoot. I have to give it to him. The bigger in sword. Got it. Those were all the trades that you had to do right there. Pretty cool. Very cool. I, I love this sword so much. All right, and there it is. Look at that puppy. Yeah. Pretty sweet, huh? That's it, guys. That is the bigger in sword. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I, uh, I I love doing this trading sequence. I mean, mainly because the payoff is so big. Okay, and it continues to pay off. While you can't exactly you can't use your shield at the same time because it's a two-handed sword, right? We can slash and burn with our master sword, having our our, our Hylian shield up. However. Two-handed sword, you can't use the shield at the same time. See, as you can see right there, right? See his two hands on it? So therefore, you lose a little bit of defense, however. Like in the water tumble, when we're taking out the uh, the boss at the end, you know, pulling that little ball over to us and slashing away, um, you, you effectively can do it a little, so much quicker. I mean, which is the same way with all subsequent bosses after that and all bad guys after that. So um, this sword rocks. Is worth the time, you know. The next time you guys are playing, um, yeah, it, it, do this sequence. It's uh, it's so worth it. So well, there you have it, guys. We have the big one sword. Yep, we went all over Hyrule. We traded mushrooms and we got prescriptions and, and all that weird stuff, wacky stuff all over the place. But we got the sword. And that sword's gonna be super effective. We're going to the Water Temple next time, so please join me for that. Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate it, guys. I'm Loudboy. You guys have an amazing day.